Salute, man. God bless y'all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I want to share a testimony, man, with the world. Amen. I just seen my brother right now. Me and my brother go way back, you know, to when we was teens. We was in that gang life. You know, we was heavy into the gang banging and just had an obsession with guns. And last time I saw him, we was actually on a bike and I was throwing him on the handlebars and we were strapped up. The very next day, he got caught up caught a murder case. He was sentenced to natural life. He'd never get out. But by the grace and mercy that God had upon his life, after 30 years, he is free right now. You know, I want to thank first and foremost my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for making this possible. Because I got locked up when I was 18. You know, and at one time I couldn't see the end. You know, I thank him that I never lost hope because in there it's easy to lose hope. And once you lose hope, you lose it all. It took me 29 years and six months, you know, and God finally allowed me to step back out and reclaim the physical freedom that was stolen from me. You know, when I disobeyed, you know, and believed the lies instead of the truth, you know, God said, well, I'm gonna have to set you apart, and he did. And I was raised in prison, you know, and I thank God he kept me safe all these years, you know, and now what I can is just share my story and hope that you'll be able to use it to help others, to help others avoid the mistakes that I made so they won't go through the same things I went through or worse. Because at the end of the day, no matter how hard you see life out here, you got choices in there, you ain't got no choices. You know, you come and go out here, out there you can't. I was stuck in a 12 by 10 cell for 30 years. You know, now at three, four o'clock in the morning, I could walk out on the porch. So all these little things, opening the refrigerator that we overlook out here because we always have it, you know. But thank be to the grace of God yeah. that is given back to me. So whatever time I have left, I'll do as he will have me to do, and he'll do the increase. Let this be a lesson learned to the young generation that you don't gotta go that route. You don't gotta waste your life. Cause a lot of a lot of young men find themselves thinking they, they live forever not knowing that that very night their soul could be required and they we, we preach to them and they think they got their whole life ahead of them they, they're like man i'm only 17 years old i got my whole life ahead of me not knowing that that same very night their soul will be required hallelujah for the word of god says die fool this very night thy soul be required so take heed to these words amen Thank God that I'm alive, blessed to be alive, for I survived so much. And it's not because I ain't, because I'm all that, I ain't nothing. I ain't nothing but dust. But the Lord Jesus Christ allowed me to live through all them things. All them times I was fighting for my life. All them times you would go to war on these streets when you in that gang life. And I'm going to tell you. Ain't nobody winning. Both sides lose. Straight up. Wake up, man. God bless y'all. Take heed to these words. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ.